Welcome to this video guide for the user interface for Design Spark Mechanical. The objective of this guide is to explore the tools and features you can find in the user interface. Starting at the top left corner, we find the Quick Access Toolbar. Here you will see tools such as Open, Save, Undo and Redo, which are found in many popular software packages, as well as a drop-down menu allowing you to add further tools to customize your toolbar. Moving down a little to the File menu, clicking on the tab will again give access to a selection of operations which are common to many applications, including File New, Save As and Print. One tool especially worth pointing out within the File menu is Design Spark Options. In here you can configure the software to your own preferences by changing settings for features such as units and navigation. Changing the navigation settings can be helpful if you have previously worked with another application and you want to replicate the conventions you are used to. In the advanced options area, you can reset your software to default settings if you have made changes you no longer want. Moving across from the File tab to the Design tab will give a view of a ribbon bar comprising a number of groups of design tools. These range from the standard clipboard tools to Orient tools to manipulate the design view and onto a collection of sketch tools for creating 2D features. In the Edit section, you will find the main tools for creating and manipulating 3D geometry. Pull and Move are the most often used tools. As the name suggests, Pull is used to extend 3D geometry, either from 2D or by adapting an existing 3D feature. The Move tool is used to change the position of features. These are supported by Fill, which removes features, and Combine, which lets you merge solids or cut one into another. With these tools, you can freely build and modify 3D models in a creative way. The Insert section provides tools which make it easy to add content to your designs in the form of PCB designs or other files you have access to, or 3D models from the web. The tools further to the right include Measuring and Dimensioning, and finally the Bill of Materials options where you can choose to display the bill of materials in the design and also use a web link to order your parts and have them delivered to you very quickly. The Display tab provides access to the ribbon bar for graphics-based tools, including the colour of the model, opacity, wireframe and so on. Moving back across to the left side of the screen, below the ribbon bar, we see the Structure tree. This tree will list everything present in the design window, such as solids, components and planes. In this example, there is one component and one plane in the design and listed in the structure tree. Visualising the design through the structure tree helps to illustrate the main difference between Design Spark Mechanical, a direct modelling system, and the parametric CAD systems, which are in use today. Direct modelling is ideal for conceptual design and innovative modelling because the model is free of the constraints inherent in parametric systems. Any feature of your design can be amended and tweaked at any stage, just as if you were working with a ball of clay. The options panel below the structure tree presents selectable options to fine tune the operation being carried out. For example, in Pull mode, the options offered will be different from those in Move mode. In a similar way, within the design window are a range of tool guides which enable a range of operations to aid developing the design. The panels on the left of the design window can be dragged and dropped to other locations around the screen, or can be pinned to the side of the screen to maximise the design window. To restore panel docking positions to the original setup, go to File, Design Spark Options, and in Appearance, select Reset Docking Layout. At the bottom of the screen is a horizontal status bar, 
which will describe the next action depending on the status of the work on the screen. The same prompt will appear in the top left of the design window. Returning to the design window, let's look at what happens when we select on a part of a model. Depending on the type of feature selected, a mini toolbar will appear, offering easy access to the most popular options seen in the Options panel. This feature helps avoid sweeping the cursor back and forth during the creation of the model. Within the software, there are a number of ways to get help if you're not sure about anything. Firstly, you can hover the cursor over the tool or guide you're curious about. This will bring up a tip, as well as offering access to context-sensitive help. For example, hovering over the spin, pan and zoom tools in the Orient group will show a tip including the shortcut details for that tool. If a tool is greyed out, hovering over it will also suggest what needs to be done to enable the tool. For general access to the Help menu, simply press F1 at any time or click on the blue question mark in the top right corner. More help options are available in the Help and Resources tab, including a quick reference card with a host of tips for efficient use of the software.